pretty nice weather looking today. It doesn't look like there's as much snow in the mountains from this point of view anyways. And what's going on today? Another, I guess, news report of some drone flying around a football game. This one says a rogue drone delayed the Ravens game. Now the FAA is investigating. It says drone hobbyists be warned. On game day, Baltimore Stadium skies belong to the Ravens and Orioles. The Federal Aviation Administration on Friday confirmed it is investigating a rogue drone that was spotted hovering above M&T Bank Stadium Thursday night. The sighting led officials to temporarily halt the Ravens-Bengals game in the second quarter. Another delay came later during the fourth quarter, but Ravens representatives said at that time it was unrelated to the drone. I'm just wondering how hard is it really to, I guess, neutralize the drone if they really want to? It says, in a statement Friday, representatives for the Maryland Stadium Authority said security and Maryland State Police were able to locate the unmanned drone pilot and directed them to immediately land the drone. The individual was unaware of the restrictions and did not have a waiver to operate the drone during the game. Authorities have since forwarded details of the incident to the FAA's Law Enforcement Assistance Program. So they dealt with the situation by the sounds of it and it makes you wonder, can it actually just be done without all this, I guess, federal stuff? I would imagine in many cases, from my perspective anyways, It'd be kind of no difference than someone, I don't know, running into the field, streaking and so forth, like you take care of it. I don't know any place where if someone did something like that, all of a sudden you'd call in like the National Guards or something like that. Like just deal with it if someone's being like a rogue of sort, isn't it? And it says, according to the FAA, drones cannot be flown within three miles of a stadium starting one hour before a scheduled game until one hour after the event ends to any National Football League or Major League Baseball game. That's also the case for NCAA Division, one football games and NASCAR Sprint Cup, IndyCar or Champ Series races. And I guess with drones in other places, how about this one? I've often seen these type of drones where apparently they fire seeds to grow trees and so forth. This one says launch of Seed Copter 2.0, India's first reforestation drone services for corporates and CSR. Marut Drones, India's premier drone manufacturing company, has introduced its pioneering product, the Seedcopter 2.0, India's first reforestation drone. Marut Drones is delighted to announce the availability of Seedcopter services to corporate entities, enabling them to actively engage in CSR activities and reforestation efforts. Marut aspires to bring together corporate entities and their dedicated CSR teams to take the services of Seedcopters in the reforestation journey an activity that would align with the UN Sustainable Development Goals and actively participate in the management of their carbon footprint while making a lasting and transformative impact on the environment. So that's kind of cool to see, I guess. And this was kind of a surprising read as ChatGPT and the organization OpenAI has been really big recently, but apparently, I guess, they're voting out, like the CEO says here, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is out after losing confidence of board. Sam Altman, who as CEO of OpenAI gave the world ChatGPT and became one of the most influential people in technology, has departed the company after losing the confidence of its board. It makes you wonder why. Is it just like PR, for example? It says a company statement says that a review concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. Mira Murati, previously OpenAI CTO, was appointed interim CEO while OpenAI searches for a full-time replacement. The statement says, Altman did not respond to a request for comment. OpenAI declined to comment. Greg Brockman, who co-founded OpenAI with Altman, alongside leading names in AI and technology including Elon Musk, will also step down from his role as chair of the company's board. The company's statement says, no reason was given for Brockman's change in position. Well, yeah, what's going on there, huh? Because it was actually doing really well in terms of the exposure for the ChatGPT and stuff like that. And it even says, the surprising capabilities of ChatGPT such as solving complex puzzles and handling questions that appear to require human-like reasoning stunned AI researchers, amazed the public, and triggered an arms race among big tech companies to build more powerful AI. Now, it makes you wonder what's going on there. Are they jumping into, I guess, different projects as well, potentially? Who knows, but AI is a big deal, even from that little session I went to yesterday with that Adobe stuff. They talked about so much about AI copyright and so forth as well. It is the way of the future, I guess, at this rate.
Alright, see you guys later. Thank you.